Hi, this is Alan Edwards, and this is the first in a series of videos on Startline, the Android app for racing. Um, what I'm going to show you on this one is not the full capabilities of the app, but just the, what I basically use when I race, just to get you started. Um, so I'm not going to talk about the setup, but before you even go out to the race course, you want to set up things like your bow offset, what the routes, the routes are going to be, what the waypoints are. But I'm going to show the set the start time, how to ping the marks, select a route um, once it's given, uh, and set your targets um, given conditions that you have on the day. And then you go into the start screen and then the race screen which is automatically selected after you cross the line. And then I'll switch automatically as you go by each waypoint. So here is the main menu. So like I say, the first thing I want to set is the start time. And I'm going to not select a five minute interval, which I could. I could set for five minutes. But I'm going to set a time. And I'm going to set it for 9.30. That is my published start time. The next thing I want to do is ping the marks. Uh, in my case, I would ping the W mark first, I go by it, but the next mark I go by is the pin. So I might click that set. and set the pin, and I get uh, audio through my boat stereo system so I know that I for sure hit it. And then I do the committee boat the same way. So when I've set the pin in the committee boat, I go back to the main menu. And just a point about setting those, I usually set those from outside the line so that I can see that I'm right on the line. And then I will make note of what distance the real pin or committee boat is from where I pinged it and I can correct that later with uh, the move line function. So I can move the line, shorten it by that distance and save that. I'll go back to the main menu. So next I want to set the targets. Um, you can do that automatically where you just press a button and sail across the line and when you cross the line it'll set it. But I generally just enter it manually. And I might enter six knots at 45 degrees. And then when I actually sail, do a practice run across the line, um, I'll make note and I'll watch the speeds and then I'll adjust it accordingly. Now that my targets are set, when I know the course, when that's announced, I'll go in and then select the route. So in this case, I'm going to use that one. It'll tell me from what I've entered previously in the setup what the waypoints are, and I'm good to go. And then I hit start. The thing it does is give me this audio warning, and it can be set you can load whatever you want. Inside. And it's going to tell me what I need to hear in terms of getting the boat set up, but I'm going to turn that off for now. So in this case, the most the first thing you'd want to do is get the burn time to your target starting point. In this case, I'm going to start on starboard at the com committee boat. So I select committee boat and starboard and it tells me how much time I have to burn before I want to head back toward the committee boat. So I might be sailing off the line, down the line, um, into a area to burn some time, do a couple loops, whatever, and then when this reads the amount of time it'll take me to turn around and head back toward um, the ley line, uh, in my case about 30 seconds, I'll turn the boat and head back and then I'll try to make sure this reads zero and if it reads if I have more time to burn I might do an S turn or or 
um, to head away from the line a little bit. If I have burned too much time, I'll head toward the line, get a little closer to the line before my start. And then when my burn time to the uh, starting line is zero, in my case, it might be four seconds or eight seconds, whatever it is for your boat, the time it takes you to kind of change course and head toward the line, then I'll head toward the line and I should hit it at the safety margin I've programmed in on the uh, in my setup, which I haven't gone through. So when I actually cross the line, um, it'll automatically switch to this race screen. So it gives me different prompts and I'm going to turn those off. In this case, it's telling me that the mark is to my right at 50 degrees and in my case when I when that gets to my target which for the current or whatever I've set is 104 degrees um, that's time to turn that's the ley line it also will tell you in meters where the light ley line is I'm going upwind um, I got 86 meters um, tells me the time to that and that's useful we usually wait a certain three minutes and we'll, we're not very good at taking a spinnaker down but we'll wait three minutes before the mark we'll take the spinnaker down and there's other various different parameters I'm not getting a target uh, speed because I don't have wind set uh, I haven't set the wind speed if I set the wind speed I'd get a target speed there so that's basically the overview um, there's lots more you can set as I've, I've referred somewhat to the 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 wind, you can set the current, um, you can set the wind, you can set these for each leg so that it'll automatically switch. Um, there's lots of different things you can do, but those will be subject of another video. Thanks.